Try it one more time. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Amen. Amen. I want to welcome everyone to Central Point again this morning as we lift his name up in praise. Amen. Let's sing together. Let's let's pray together. Let's listen to a word from the Lord. Let's commune together. Amen. 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 I am gonna hide, oh Lord, behind, high behind of the mount, oh Lord, the mountain, Lord, and I'm gonna hide, everybody say, hide behind, Lord, oh, the mountain, Lord, the mountain, Lord, and I'm gonna, everybody sing, hide behind the Lord, oh, the mountain, Lord. Right. 
Yes, sir. Verses 18 through 20. Yes, sir. Matthew, the 28th chapter, verses 18 through 20. And it reads, And Jesus came and spake unto them, yes, sir. saying, All power is oh. given unto me in heaven and in earth. Oh, wow. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, Baptizing them in the name of the Father, yes. and of the Son, yes. and of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Teaching them to observe all things, all things. whatsoever I have commanded you. Yeah. And lo, lo, I am with you always, yeah. Yeah. even unto the end of the world. Yeah. Amen. 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 Let's go to our Father. All wise and merciful Father. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we are again, Heavenly Father, approaching your throne of grace, uh, coming together in worship, just a bunch of sinners saved oh, right. by your matchless oh, yes. grace, oh, Heavenly yes. Father. Oh, yes. Heavenly Father, never could we be haughty, Heavenly Father. Never, never could we look down on anybody, Heavenly never. Father, because it's only because of you that we have this opportunity. Yes. Yes. Heavenly Father, there are so many things that are going on in this world, Help Heavenly not, Father. Help when you me, read the newspapers or if you're tech savvy, you look at your phone and uh, you get alerts and all of these things and it seems like it's yes. only bad things, Heavenly yes. Father. Yes. Only a fool would not understand that we need uh, you, Heavenly oh, Father. No. Heavenly Father, we need you every day, but we need you right now, Heavenly yes. Father. Yes. Heavenly Father, because we need the things for we need you for the things that are global, Heavenly yes. Father. Yes. We need you for the things that are happening right in our own city, Heavenly yes. Father. Yes. We need you for the things that are happening right on our own block, Heavenly yes. Father. We need you for the things that are happening in our home, Heavenly yes. Father. Yes. And Heavenly Father, we need you for the things that we struggle with in our own heart, yes. Heavenly yes. Father. Now, I don't know, Heavenly Father, what everybody is going through, Heavenly Three Father. But I do know that everybody is going through something, yeah, Heavenly Father. Yeah. And I'm so glad this morning, Heavenly yeah. Father. I am so glad this morning so glad. that we have a God like you that sits high yeah. and looks low, Heavenly yeah. Father. Now, sometimes we don't understand, Heavenly Father. Uh -huh. We don't understand the, the wind, yes, Heavenly yes, Father. Yes, and we don't understand the how, Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. But, Heavenly Father, we know that you're able, Heavenly yeah. Father. You can do anything that you want to but fail, Heavenly yeah. Father. So, Heavenly Father, everything that we have going on, Heavenly Father, we lay that at your feet, Heavenly yeah. Father. And we know that whatever you do is going to be for our good and for your glory, Heavenly yeah. Father. So, we ask you to continue to do what you do, which is always show up and show out, Heavenly yeah. Father. Now, Heavenly Father, this service, this morning, Heavenly Father, Help us to put away all the distractions, yes, Heavenly Lord. Father. Forget yes. about Facebook and FaceTime. And let us yes. focus on the face that's truly important, yes. which is yes. the face of God yes. this morning. Yes. Heavenly Father, because we are in your presence, Heavenly yes. Father. Yes. Heavenly Father, we just we just ask you to, to have the Holy Spirit guide us this morning, yes. Heavenly Father. Yes. Heavenly Father, now we know that Brother Miles has studied, Heavenly yes. Father. Yes. And we know that he's talked to you, Heavenly Father, yes. about what he needs to do. Heavenly Father, yes. but us, Heavenly Father, the members in particular, yes, help us to be ready to receive the word, yes. Heavenly yes. Father. Yes. Help it to not be void in our lives, Heavenly yes. Father, and to yes. use it to do great things that you yes, want sir. us to do, yes. Heavenly Father. Yes. Now, Heavenly Father, today, today, Heavenly yes. Father, we're going to talk about plans for the new year, Heavenly yes. Father. Yes. Yes. Heavenly Father, help us to shake off. Oh, yeah. Shake off the chains of the pandemic, Heavenly oh, Father, yeah. that has made us complacent, oh, that has made yeah. us slowful, Heavenly Father, yeah. and has, 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 has made us forget about where our strength comes from, Heavenly yeah. Father. Oh, yeah. Help us to rededicate our lives today, Heavenly yeah. Father, yeah. and to yeah. give you what you deserve, Heavenly yeah. Father, yeah. which is the praise, glory, and honor that you deserve. Yeah. And not just that, Heavenly Father, but our obedience, Heavenly yeah. Father, yeah. our time, Heavenly Father, our yeah. hearts, Heavenly Father. Yeah. Help us today. I don't know what happened yesterday. I'm not judging anybody. I can only speak for myself. But Heavenly Father, I can always be more for you, Heavenly Father. I can always be more for you. So help us to encourage each other, Heavenly Father. On those days when I'm 
lacking, and I'm not feeling what I should be feeling, for somebody to come up and say, I understand where you're coming from, and keep pushing on, Brother John. Yeah. Heavenly Father, that's what the family of God is all about. Yes. Heavenly Father, that's where we want to be. Yes. And only then will we be able to turn this city upside down. Yes. Right. Yes. Heavenly Father, we have to turn up upside down our own lives before we can do anything for anybody. Yes. Heavenly Father, thank you for being who you are. Yes. Use Brother Miles in a mighty way this yes. morning, Heavenly Father. Use each member in, in particular in a mighty way, yes. Heavenly yes. Father. Yes. And let us offer something that is sweet to you. Heavenly Father, that's pleasing to you, Heavenly Father, that makes you smile, Heavenly Father. Thank you. Thank you for all that you've done, all that you're doing, and all that you will do. In the matchless name that we pray. Amen. Bless you. Bless you. Lord Jesus, amen. Thank you for that prophetic yeah. yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes. You ever wake up and you just knew you were going to have a good day at church? Yeah. 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 I'm just wondering, if you have not had that experience, yeah. have you ever just woke up in the morning and you just knew beyond a shadow of a doubt, man, today would be a good day at worship today? Yeah, I woke up like that this morning. I was smiling. I'm, it was the best shower I didn't had. It's, if you grab your clothes and you say, man, we're going to have us a good time at church today. Praise God. Amen. If you ain't had it, get your prayer life right. Because you need it. You need it. All right. Let's, let's talk to the Lord. Um, Try oh Lord, all my all my care, Lord, I can tell them to my Lord and He. Yeah. 
about what you've done for me. Every day I wait and I think about how you've comforted me. You have raised me up, protected my life, protected my world with mercy. You taught me to realize I could do everything, that all I need is you, dear Lord, and I see that you're wonderful and I need you so and I am asking right now that you never leave cause I need you so and only Jesus brings me hope through every single one every single one I say Thank you. 
sound. I'm just going to give an invitation right now and remind you that God is calling us. We have our a state of the church address today, so I don't want to hold you long. And so this morning, I just want to extend the Lord's invitation. And I want to extend an hour or a moment of prayer for you. Listen, God came down in the form of Jesus. Amen. Yes, sir. Over 2,000 years ago, his son was born. Yes, sir. In poverty. Uh huh. The Bible says, Jay, they wrapped him mm. in pieces of rags. Glory. There was no room for him, Jewel, in the end. Yes. So the Bible says that he had to be laid uh, in a cattle trough. Yes, yes. Uh, and the Bible said he grew up uh, and he, at the age of 12, began the ministry that his father sent him uh, to do. He operated and he performed in his purpose, Sister Martha, never taking his eyes off of Calvary. The Bible said he was taken from judgment hall to judgment hall. He had no sin in him. There could be no sin found in him. But the Bible says, Sister Oliver, that he experienced every form of suffering and every form of trial and test that you and I experience. But Sierra, the Bible says, he yet had no sin. Yes, sir. He died a heinous death. Yes, Lord. He paid a price for us that he did not owe and a debt we could not pay. They put him in a tomb on Friday. And I, the Bible says that on Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hands. Brother John, power yes. over death, power over the grave, and power over sin. Y'all don't know when to shout. Yeah, Lord. I know I'm just talking, but you don't have to wait for, uh, for me to get on 10 to for me to shout. Uh, because he did for us, Sister yes. Pat, that we yeah. could not do for ourselves. Lord. And that he saved us yes. from our sin. He provided a way of salvation, and that salvation is through his church. Y'all might as well stand on your feet. The salvation is through his church. Paul says it this way, Sister Pat, yeah. in 2 Timothy 2 and verse number 10, he says salvation is in Christ Jesus. Yes. We know that's not his physical body because he shed, Brother Cliff, he shed. He got rid of his, his physical, physical body. body. Right. So it must be his spiritual body, Brother Black. And Paul said in Ephesians chapter 1, 22 and 23, he says that he had gave, made him to be head over all things to yeah. the church, yeah. the church, yeah. which is his body. Yeah. So when Paul says that salvation has been placed in Christ, yeah. he's talking about his church. Yeah. Paul writes again in Ephesians 4 and 4 and says there's only one body. And that is the church of Christ. Yeah. You want to know if you're in the right church this morning? Find out who your founder is. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ask your pastor who's your founder. Yeah. And if he tells you it's a man or a woman uh -huh. or somebody who don't know what they are, uh, y'all well. ain't saying nothing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. You know it's not Christ's church yeah. because Acts 20 and 28 said he purchased the church with his blood. Yeah. Colossians 1 18 said he is the head of the church. And Paul said it is his body. Amen. So he is the founder. He is the purchaser. He promised it. Matthew 16, 18. Isaiah prophesied about it. Isaiah 4. Micah prophesied about it. Micah 2. So listen, you can only obtain salvation where salvation has been placed. If you need to be baptized for the remission of your sin, you come today by believing that Jesus is the Son of God. Yes, sir. Uh, then by believing in his mission that God sent him to establish the church that has salvation. It looks like all of us are members here this morning. So let me go on and do this. If you need prayer, well, fill out a prayer request for me. Yeah. Fill out a prayer request for me. Let's remember the McKinley's family. They are traveling and also they're celebrating the life of our Vienna's grandfather. So let's remember them in our prayers. Will you come now? as we invite you to come for prayer, will you come as we invite you to come for salvation. The water is ready. Clothes are ready. 
Heaven is waiting. Y'all remember, don't you, Luke chapter 15 and verse number 7? He, you remember what he said, don't you? He said, uh, heaven is waiting to rejoice over one soul that repents. That 99 just who needs no repentance. The Bible says that the shepherd will leave the 99 to go after the one sheep that have been lost. Will you come this morning? Come while the blood is running warm in your veins. All night, singing all, all day, you know the angel watching over me, my Lord, singing all, all night, and every single day, you know the angel watching over me, come on, sing it again, every single
Let's take these prayers into our private moments when we meet here with God. Father God, we come. We thank you for this day and all blessings. As Brother Johnson has already said, Father, we acknowledge that we are simply sinners saved by your matchless grace. We pray this morning for the McKinney family that you will watch over them and protect them, Father. Pray that you will give them travel and grace to return home and find all things well. Pray that you will comfort their hearts and strengthen their hands. Praying for all of those who are uh, lost loved ones and are struggling or dealing with anguish and pain and hurt, and that you will comfort them, Lord. Bless us, the Irish now, with health and strength. Father, we're praying for our son Marcus for favor in all things. Watch over and protect Zayden. Bless his mother and her family. Praying, Father, for favor in Sister Irish life. Praying, Father, for all of our extended family as well. Praying for this church, Lord, that we will walk together in unity and in love, doing a great work in your name. Thankful for the love and prayers of many on behalf of myself and Sister Miles and our ministries. And Father, you know our prayer that you simply hide us behind the cross, yes, that it shall never be about us but that you will use us as vessels of honor and never dishonor, that we might serve you and serve your people, that we may serve the kingdom. Father, for we know that you reward faithfulness. Father, we're asking special prayers this morning for Mr. Robert and Miss Jerry Campbell. We're praying for healing, for comfort, and for strength. We're praying for the Harrington family, for healing, comfort, and strength. Father, we're praying and we're thanking you for blessing Iris to make it through another week. And we ask you to continue to grant her favor in her work, Father, that she will continue to learn, continue to retain, recall, and apply. Father, we're praying that you will forever uh, receive the glory from the lips of Iris, for you are the, the reason for her story. Amen. We're praying for Sister Selena this morning. Father, ask you to continue to bless her with grand and divine opportunities. We're praying that you will protect her. I'll be a hedge around her that no devil in hell shall stop or interfere with the opportunities that you have given her. We're praying that you will keep her sound physically, mentally, and spiritually, giving her the strength that she needs to overcome and be victorious over all of Satan's tricks. Yes, Father, we're praying for her husband. We're praying for her children. Praying that you will grant Selena the direction in her life that she needs, that she may obtain the apartment that she needs, that her and her husband may make it a home. Father, we're praying for Sister Pat Andrews at this time, for her children and her entire family, but especially her children's father. Father, we know that it seems bleak and dim and dark right now. But we know you have the power to turn things around. We know you have the power to influence the heart and mind of man. So, Father, we pray earnestly that you will touch his heart through the words of his children or doctors or advisors uh, that he will do and follow the necessary medical treatment he needs to uh, save his life. But Father, if he fails to change his heart, we ask you to simply prepare his family for the decision that he has made. Now, Father, as we go throughout the remaining of this service, we pray that you will receive all glory and honor. And as we close out, Father, and give the state of the church address, challenging your people to rise to the next level, I am praying that we will all have open hearts that we will prepare our hearts to receive the vision that you have given to this leadership and that we will bind our hearts together and that we will allow ourselves to be stretched. We will allow ourselves to be pushed into growth, to be taught into growth, that we might not be satisfied with where we are, but keep our eyes straight ahead for the next blessing to come. This is our prayer, Father, in Jesus' holy name. Let us all say, Amen. Amen. We'll prepare our hearts and minds for communion.
communion and for offering. And we will remain seated after that uh, for dismissal and we'll go right into our state of the church address uh, for uh, this great church and for the things we have ahead for this church. Come now to the part of the worship where I to, we are to commune with our Lord and Savior. The Bible tells us the frequency in which we are to partake of the Lord's Supper. In Acts 20 and verse 7, upon the first day of the week, the disciples came together to break bread and Paul preached. And that tells you it was a worship service. It was instituted by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in Matthew 26, 26 on the night in which he was betrayed. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 through 28, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Yep. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup mm -hmm. when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. Yes. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily mm -hmm. shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Yeah. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, mm -hmm. not discerning the Lord's body. Mm -hmm. Let us still stand. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for another opportunity to commune with you. We thank you for the sacrifice that you made. And Father, we pray that each and every one of us will examine ourselves and partake of it in a worthy manner, looking to you to be the author and finisher of our faith. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, amen. Every man, according as he purposed in his heart, 
So let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Amen. Let's not be like some of the people were in Malachi chapter 3, robbing God. Amen. We rob him in tithes and offerings, and God's going to pay for it. Amen. He's going to pay you for that. Amen. You don't think Amen. you're going to get away. Amen. You think Amen. you're hiding from the church, but God knows what you're doing. Amen. He knows your heart. And so let us give because we love the Lord. Amen. Let's pray. Amen. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for another opportunity to give. We thank you for the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us. I pray that each and every one of us will give as you have prospered us, lovingly and cheerfully. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 today. Uh, let's not forget our weekly uh, Bible study on Zoom on Wednesdays at 7 uh, p.m. Great opportunity to join in in a great study so that we might all grow. Uh, ladies' Prayer and Devotion, uh, mark your calendars on Thursday, uh, November the 24th at 6.30 uh, will be the Ladies' uh, Prayer and Devotion. Uh, this will occur every other Thursday at 6.30. Uh, the call-in number uh, we have on the board here, and also you can get uh, that number so that you can be connected to the call. Uh, the Ladies Zoom Fellowship, uh, the ladies will have their uh, Ladies Zoom class, Living as God's uh, Kingdom Woman, Sunday, uh, November the 27th at 5 uh, p.m. Uh, check uh, your email for the uh, link for the Zoom uh, class. Also, Save the Day, the National Association of Celebrated Seniors uh, seminar will be on Friday, beginning uh, April the 21st, 2023 through uh, also 2021 through uh, 2023 uh, on uh, the month of April. Uh, this will be in the uh, Chicago area, a great opportunity. Uh, the theme will be the seasons of your life, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. And then there's also early re reg registration. Uh, you can be connected to that. Uh, CP prayer requests, uh, pr request, prayer, prayer requests, I can get out of there. Um, <clears throat> uh, please, uh, if you're interested in that during the week, uh, we'll be praying for you and uh, the things that you need prayer for. So uh, please remember that also. Also, all the different giving options that we have. Uh, as Brother Elliot had mentioned, it is, it is truly an honor to give back to God, for God has given so much to us. I know you're right. And uh, let's not forget that. I mean, everything that we have, as we know, belongs to God. Uh, Central Point Prayer Request Line. Uh, this re prayer request line uh, continues on Monday through Friday, 6.30 a.m. in the morning, Monday through Friday. And this line will also be not just this area, but also prayer warriors across the country. So uh, it's a great opportunity. Uh, call in number 605-468-8013 with the participation code 888-767. Uh, and don't forget the pound sign at the end. Uh, prayer list, uh, let's continue to pray and remember our, our loved ones, uh, Dr. Ophir Miles, uh, the mother of uh, Brother Miles, uh, the Hallman family, AJS uh, Management Logistics and Company, uh, David and uh, Gypsy Jones, uh, Cliff Pugh and family, uh, Matthew and Ramona Miles, Miss Florine Boatman, uh, the Cannon family, Stephen Black and family, Deja Jones, Gerard Jackson and family, and uh, also, all those that were mentioned uh, this morning, let's continue to pray for one another and lift one another up for God. And, uh, just continue to move forward and uh, take advantage of each blessed day that God has given us. Amen. Uh, also, on our birthdays for the month of uh, November, uh, Tamaya Bunn uh, on the 3rd, which was on the 3rd of November, uh, Sierra uh, Pugh. 
daughter, uh, Stephen Black's birthday was on the 11th of this month. Amen. And then also uh, Marcus and Tori Johnson celebrated their anniversary on the 6th of this month. Uh, those are all the announcements that we have right now. I'll turn it over to Brother Nye. Thank you. Thank you so very kind, Brother Smith. We're going to have our dismissal prayer, um, and then we're going to go right into our state of the dress. Those of you who are out there in the Cyber Sanctuary, we thank you for your attendance. Thank you for being with us today. You could have been anywhere, but you decided to be with us. Amen. Those of our members who are not here, uh, we will be recording, and so you will be able to receive uh, that recording. will be emailed to all of our members as well. So at this time, I want to ask you to bow with us uh, in a word of prayer. Yeah. Let us bow. Father God, we thank you once again for another opportunity to come together and worship with you. Mm -hmm. Dear God, we ask you to continue to bless us with everything and all things that we stand in need of. And keep us safe as we try to make it through another week till we come together again. In Jesus' name, we ask these blessings. Amen. 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 Thank you so very kind, Brother Hood. Thank you so very kind. One of